Welcome back, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 with another exhibition match for you. This time we're going to be seeing a match between Kraken and Ivory King, both of Clan GBC. This is going to be on Icy Shell. And it's be very interesting. We haven't seen Ivory King since the tournament, and. Actually, I don't think he was in the 1v1 tournament. I think the last time he was in was the 2v2 tournament where he valiantly played 1v2, but ended up not actually doing too well ultimately. Going for Spider Factory. Oh, what? Really? I should point out, this map is flat. Like, very, very flat. I don't quite understand the rationale for the Spider Factory. On the other hand, we have Kraken going for the slightly more, well, much more conventional Klugibot Factory. Not slightly, it's it's pretty much the factory. It shields light vehicles. Those are your main factories. Although tanks have actually been doing pretty well recently. And spiders have been adjusted recently to try to make them a bit more mainline. Anyway... Ivory King going for a standard flea map hack, essentially. Making sure he knows exactly what's going on, has them everywhere around the map. Glaives can take care of fleas, no problem, but still, that is a lot of fleas. The point is information. The point is to know where Kraken is going and where he is sending everything. Also, possibly to harass out some of the metal strategies if you can pull that off, but he's probably not going to try. Ivory King will probably just keep them here, keep it in a nice circle around the base to know when units are moving out. Interestingly, though, he's... No, no, he is not. He is, in fact, going for harassment. Not going for mission gathering at all. Just wanted to regroup first. Gonna get rid of one of these metal extractors. Probably gonna get rid of two, actually. Yes, he is gonna get rid of two, no problem. And Kraken does have Glaive going around the side as well. But these two, these... Are all three of the metal extractors gonna go? No, they will not. Two of them go down, one of them still alive. But that's pretty huge. Kraken, however, does have a... Well, now a second metal extractor, but a fourth outside of his base. So Kraken... With two metal extractors, eight metal income. Ivory King with ten metal income. Not the biggest deal yet. Definitely not a bad idea. I mean, it's good to... Obviously, really good to do that. And four fleas for that is a good trade. Four fleas for two metal extractors. I'd take that trade. And it looks like he's going to keep going again. He's going to try again, but going for the wrong angle. Kraken's commander with the rocket launcher not going to be able to do quite so well against the fleas as, say, with a beam laser, a particle beam. However, it is possible to find them, and the radar does exist, so... Kraken is fully aware of where that flea is going. And now that it's dead, he's not fully aware of the rest of the fleas coming in. Yeah, lots of flea spam. A few Venoms and Recklesses will be coming... Sorry, not Recklesses. Redbacks will be coming up as well. Redbacks and Venoms to back up these fleas once they're done. And they will soon be done. There are a lot of Glaives in the field now. There's got to be about... There are six Glaives in the field now. That... Really a matter of positioning, but basically... It's a matter of positioning as to whether or not the fleas will be able to skirt by. And two of them do. Two fleas manage to skirt by. Other fleas going around the side to try to avoid this line of glaives. But the glaives were already going home in order to deal with these other fleas. I, However, nice fake out here. This last flea able to get in. And looks like... Oh, I gotta check my hockeys. Looks like the laser cannot hit that flea. And that flea will be able to get a free metal extractor. However, going for the radar instead, it will be able to pick it off. Goes down with the explosion of the radar, mind you, but that still eliminates a lot of Kraken's vision. That is huge, and the rest of the fleets can now get in without too much trouble. I mean, admittedly, Kraken will probably guess where they're coming from, but still. The fleas will not be spotted on radar first. Double-checking Ivory King's production. It looks like he switched over pretty much entirely to Venoms and Redbacks, though admittedly his production's halted at the moment. But that appears to be what he's going for is... Well, as he is expanding his economy as well... Weaver off to the side, he's expanding to the center and to the right. A very good thing to do. We saw a drone do that in some of the tournaments, or similar to things like it. Moving commander in one direction, and actually he had two builders, one in each direction, but... Still, this is the right idea, expanding around both directions. This Weaver needs to continue to expand, though. To continue to build up metal extractors, and Redbacks and Venoms coming in to take care of the Glaives. Half dozen Glaives going over to the southeast side, going to sweep west from there. We'll encounter a few speed bumps along the way, but... This Venom is probably going to make the difference. Glaives do not do well against Venoms. You have to use Rockos. Speaking of which, there are Rockos coming in. Kraken will be building up Rockos to deal with Spiders, because that's how you deal with Spiders. That is the answer to the factory, is Rockos. Far high enough range to avoid the Venoms and avoid the Redbacks. Accurate enough to not have to worry about the Recluses, because the Recluses just don't kill them in time. And Fleas just don't deal enough damage. Like... I mean, like, fleas actually probably are the best counter to them, come to think of it, but they just don't deal a whole lot of damage, really. And Glaze will be there for support, and that'll just get rid of the fleas, no problem. However, the Redbacks are taking advantage of the time they have before the Rockos do come out. There are already half, no, four so far, but they are building quickly. 
15 metal being poured into that factory. Each Rocco has taken about 6 seconds to build up. And a bit more harassment though. Ivory King has managed to keep an economic lead this entire time. He now is getting this Weaver out here. Now is expanding to the southeast with it. And his commander going to the north as well. Or along the west side northwards. Kraken on the other hand has been expanding as much as he can. But was limited. But the Rocco's... With the Rockos, he will be able to push out. He will be able to get rid of these Venoms. One Venom here, actually, is going to go down without any issue. Getting rid of... Actually, getting rid of the radar, but the Venom... There we go. Now it's gone down. And the other Venom is... Forced to retreat. That's all it can really do. Fleas coming in to try to deal with the Rockos, but there are Glaives to support them, and that will get rid of the Fleas. And the thing is, the Fleas would have to dodge really well, too. Right, that's the thing. The Fleas, if they are a counter to Rockos, would have to dodge extremely well to do so. Hermits? Okay, that's not a bad idea either, especially if they're in large groups, but... Let's see how this works. I think Hermits are outranged... Yeah, they are clearly outranged by the Rocco. So once again, not an easy option. I think Red... Reckless is the only option for range, and Hermits, I suppose, is an option for durability. That's true. But it's still kind of tough for them to get in. The Redbacks, able to get rid of support glaze, but that's not helping much. I really... I feel like I'm starting to think that Fleas might be the better option, just because of the fire rate of the Ro Roccos compared to the speed of the Flea. I think the Flea would just be able to completely surround them, keep them distracted, and the other units could pour in afterwards on top of them. The Venoms and the Redbacks could pour in and deal with the Roccos. But I I'm just grasping at straws here, because really, Rocco just counters Spider Factory. It's just because Fleas might be able to dodge the Roccos. That's the only thing I can think of. However, while Ivory King is going for Fleas, he's going for Harass with Fleas instead. Not going to do too much, though. Oops. It's not going to do too much. Okay, seriously, why do my hockeys keep going away every time? Anyway, it's not going to do all that much here. It is just going to let him know where the defenses of Kraken are. Not a bad thing to know, but right now Ivory King is in the stage of needing to consolidate everything. He needs to rebuild his mechs. He needs to make sure this Weaver... Why is this Weaver not constructing? He has this Weaver queued up, but it's not building anything right now. He needs to make sure he continues to push his economic advantage. Just get more and more money. And then, from there, possibly just get a crab and not even worry about the Rockos at that point. They just, it just meat shields for everything else, but... No, instead, he is getting heavily attacked on the west side by the Rockos. He does have a lot of units in the center, looking like they are itching for a fight. They're gonna flank the Rockos, and let's see how well the Fleas actually do, and... Oh, actually, they do pretty well. Huh. I mean, at a point there. They are distracting the Rockos, moving them around, keeping them... Yeah, feeding them into the Redbacks. That looks like the Fleas were, in fact, a good choice. I mean, obviously not a direct counter, but definitely a useful way of distracting the rock is getting them out of the way. Or at least getting them in where you want them to be. Just taking a bit of that control away, because as you can see, the Redbacks are too slow. They're just going to get hit by everything. Getting rid of the Glaives, no problem, but the Rockos are... The Rockos are the problem. The Glaives is there as a distraction. They're just like the Fleas. And looks like... Okay, here's the massive amount of Fleas with... Glaives getting rid of them over, that's the thing, is the Glaive support, you need to get rid of the Glaive support first, and there it goes, actually, although one of the Redbacks going down, and the Glaive's able to push through, Ivory King does have a bunch of defenses in place, they did go down, but so did all the Glaives, and quite a few of the Rockers in the looks bit as well, reinforcements are coming, but they're entirely Glaives, the main Rocco force has been thinned, quite a few Rock. okay, how many Rocco corpses are there, okay, quite a few Rocco corpses, so that actually did work out somewhat, overall that battle, did keep Ivory King in his territory, and he does have... Well, it's got to be Overdrive at this point, because he's... No, that's got nothing. Weird. Okay, he's not Overdriving. He just... He is building up Metal Strategies. He has actually been doing that. He is reclaiming as well. That's probably the bigger thing. He does need to build... Why is he not building these Metal Extractors? That's the one thing. These Metal Extractors here, that's a lot of cash. That's eight metal right there. He is building the one in the north, but... I think he has extra Weavers. How many Weavers does he have? He has five Weavers. Yeah, he can spare a couple. That's the one thing I'd say, is if there's anything that's giving Kraken an edge into this game, it, there's one inch that Ivory King is giving Kraken. It is the lack of expansions here. Now, whether or not Kraken can go and turn that into a mile, we'll see. I I see that Ivory King does have the right idea when it comes to approaching these Rockos. He is actually going for Hermits instead, going for tanking the damage rather than trying to simply distract the Rockos out. And Glaive's coming along. The west side of the map, nothing to deal with this. They're just going to completely avoid the entire army, go along this small hill here, and end up on the other side, on top of the metal extractor. Redback moving forward to try to deal with them. Or moving back, rather, to deal with them. 
be able to get a few, but they're just too fast. Way too fast. It looks like an infiltrator has come up though, and Kraken's commander is gonna go down to a redback and a hermit. Where's that infiltrator? That hero infiltrator. Or at least highly useful. There it is. That's there's the infiltrator. Dealt with that Kraken, and at the same time though, Glazer dealing with this factory is gonna go down. There's no saving this factory. Ivory King needs to rebuild one. He has a lot of the map though, but these glaives are just running amok in his base. His backyard's completely gone to them. His own commander moving forward, and this is where I'm at by a battle commander. The 48, well, 6,000 health here. I mean, the Rockers are doing a good job, but dual beam laser battle comm, that's what you use when you're pushing forward like this. We saw in the last game with Ryan Mark that support comm was attempted to use, be used in the same way. This is a battle comm being used in that way. And even then it has problems. Like, comm pushing is a really hard thing to do in 0k. It's not designed, it's actually designed against it in a lot of ways. Designed around using units, so comm pushing is a tough thing to do, but Ivory King about to lose his commander. Oh, dodged those rockets nicely, but one more rocket, that's all it's gonna take. There it goes, the commander's gone down. And actually Ivory King's gonna lose this. It looks like Rymar's Glaives, yep, Ivory King throws in the towel. Rymar's Glaives did all that work. Very nice play by Ivory King, but he lost because of those Glaives. Partly because the economy didn't have the units in play, and possibly because spiders, like I said, spiders are unusual. They, I mean, there's kind of a reason they are unusual. And as we can see, that reason is because they are tricky to use well, and Rockos do quite, if not counter the factory, they come very close. So, that is going to be... Oh, interesting. That is going to be the that game. And... I'll be going on to another one shortly, so stay tuned.